Hey everybody out there, how's it going today? I don't have any catchy intro or outro or anything, so uh, corn cob, still on my plum cake. I'm enjoying this plum cake. This was a good find for everybody out there who recommended it. I think uh, Kevin, Louisiana Pot Guy, is the one who said, you should try this, and I'm. it was a good recommendation. So, coming back at you again today with the Yapo. This one comes from California, Mr. Danny Shore. He did say he was going to, he sent me a PM, said he was going to send me some tampers. And maybe a couple of samples. Can you guys see this? That's some awfully large tampers in this package. So, I don't know what all's in here, but we're getting ready to find out. And knowing Danny, the little bit that I do, and you all know Danny, I'm sure there is way too much stuff in here. So, get my knife out here. Try to open without showing an address. Try to keep my pipe going. Try to talk with the pipe in my mouth, and we'll see how successful I am. And try to open this without slicing something important, which I think I just cut into a note. Here's a note. Got the bag note. Oh, you know, can't see that, can you? Maybe if I do that. Bag note. Okay, about to lose my... About to lose my pipe here. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys have all noticed. I don't know if it bothers anybody or not. I notice when I watch back my videos, because I like to watch back my videos just to make sure the audio is coming through, that everything is synced up, you know, that I don't have, you know, it's like one of the, it uh, uh, seems like the, uh, oh, I can't even think what they're called, like the karate movies where the guys, and then all of a sudden the voice goes or something like that. I'm trying to make sure. That's so why I watch back. So anyway, while I watch back my videos, I know I fiddle with the stem a lot. I'm not twisting it or anything. I'm just grabbing it. And I got the little softy on there. I kind of adjust it. And I'm always looking around because typically I'm at a park or something. I I really enjoy uh, watching people, watching what they do. I was talking about watching these kids over here, you know, playing tennis earlier. I don't know whether they're playing tennis. They're hitting the tennis ball. And I haven't taken care of this pipe well enough here. So I notice when I watch back my videos, I'm always looking around. Every now and then I look over here at you guys. And then, so, not that I think everything out here is more interesting. But uh, I guess when I'm having this conversation, since I'm talking to really myself on the screen there, it's I'd like to look and see what's going on out there. So anyway... I apologize if that offends or bothers anybody. I don't know that it would offend you if it bothers you. If it does, probably get used to it because I doubt I can change it. All right, here's our our bag note. <clears throat> Is that what he called it? Bag note. He says, Dale, you are too nice. I don't know... I don't know why. I haven't done anything nice, I don't think. I've been bugging everybody with questions and asking for help. and So, these are... Oh, these are the only ones, tampers, I had laying around. He's making some more. Thanks for all you do for the uh, YouTube pipe community. Danny. Well, I don't know that I do anything for the pipe community, Danny, but thank you for the thought and the consideration there. Let me see if I can get this out here. I think their 10-minute tennis game is up. I think they got fed up with each other. They were using some pretty foul language at each other for, you know, 10 or 12-year-olds. <laughs> so, okay. Empty bag. I do like doing this out here in my pickup because I got I got so much room I can move from center console to seat to seat to to uh, dash if I need it. Here I am going to fiddle with my bit just so in case you were missing it. A 
Here's a Jose Cuervo stainless steel shot glass. Little logo there on the bottom. Thank you, Danny. Very kind of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Jose Cuervo kind of pressed into the side. You'll never be able to see that on the video. And Jose, oh, like a, I got a personal message from Jose Cuervo telling me to drink responsibly. Thank you very much, Jose. I appreciate that. Thank you, Danny. I'll tell you some of my, maybe my two favorite tequilas. I'm not a big drinker. But I do like 1800 for shots. And then I like Patron Exo Dark Cafe. Nice little sipping tequila. I really like that. I think this is Tampers in here. There it is. Got the little neoprene sleeve there. Out of a 223 cartridge on one end and a 30-06 on the other. Test it out. So that works really good. Very nice, Daniel. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Here's one with the little uh, drilled the hole. Got the key ring and the uh, like a little carabiner in there. Made out of a 44 uh, mag, which I had some of these I was thinking about. I was trying to figure a unique I knew you did something with these. I was trying to think of some unique way. I haven't come up with an idea yet, but I'll come up with something. And then a 30 out 6 it looks like. 30 out 6 on the other end. Hey, while we're at it tamp again just to make sure I got it tamp good. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. Oh, whoa. Nope, there's, there's something else in there. Oh! And as uh, Pipe Man Stew says, the baseball bat tamper. And that is... I can't read it. A 50GI. I'm not familiar with that. I don't know if it's like 50 Beowulf or... I'll have to go look that up. I got a cartridge book at home. I can all go look it up and see what that is. I'm not familiar with what that is. There are so many 50s out there. So thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. Oh, did I try this one yet? Let me try it. Hey, guess what? That works pretty good. That's awesome. Thanks, Danny. I appreciate that. Now, I've been doing all that tamping like 90 times. Still got a little something going in there. I am learning the two fingers over the top to create that. I don't know what it's called. I know it's got a name where you create the increased airflow. Now we have another huge bag of samples. Uh, you guys, this is way too much here. This is Lane. Let me see if I can re-hold this up to read it. Burly Light Without the Bite. Now, is that what they call it, or did you add that? I don't know. I'll go look it up, too. I have been reading a lot on uh, tobacco reviews lately. And I am going to have to relight here. I just, I played too much. Mmm. I do like this plum cake, I gotta tell you. Now, what else we got in here to try? This is McClelland. That looks like, is that a 710? I can't quite tell, it looks like the writing got cut off a little bit, Colombian Mocha. So that will be an interesting one. And these are gonna go down to the floor if I don't put them in that crack over there. Thank you, Danny. Um, Twain. Now is that a Mark Twain, or is that what it's called, Twain? Again, I'll go, I'll go home, and look all these up. 
and see what I'll we'll see what all I can find about them. Uh, oh, distinguished gentleman! I've heard a lot about that one. That's one I've been wanting to try. And again, I got that uh, a bunch of samples from the major pipe. And so I'll be able to take a lot of these off my list. West Indies, I've heard of that one. And in like my Yapos, when I get all these samples, you're not going to hear me say, oh yeah, I've had that one because I haven't. I haven't had any of these yet. So I'm excited to try them. It looks like I'm going to have to smoke about 30 bowls tonight. Um, this one is the Limey Bastard. I've heard that one. I've heard you guys talk about a lot of these. Thanks, Danny. I appreciate it. You guys are... <coughs> Excuse me. You guys are the ones that are too nice and too kind here. English Orientals. I haven't heard of that one. So, be another good one to try. Man, I'm not going to be able to do anything for the next week because I'm going to be trying... Uh, I'm not going to be doing anything but trying uh, tobacco. So here's Orient Express. Is that that was English Orientals. Here's Orient Express. And what else we got? This is the last one in here. Admiral Bob's. I haven't heard of that one. Which, I mean, that's nothing new. I haven't heard a lot of these. If you guys haven't talked about them, I haven't heard about them. So, thank you very much, Daniel Shore. You are the one that's too kind. And so again, I wish I had a big tobacco seller that I had something to pull out of that you have never tried, but I don't know what that would be. I'm sure you've tried about a thousand different tobaccos. So uh, thank you very much. That's all I can say is thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. I hate, and I'm not going to, I hate asking for stuff from people and I'm not going to ask for stuff from people. I love giving stuff to people. And so, and I remember, you know what? I'm going to save that for another video about giving stuff. Because it's going to take longer. And I'm thinking about this. i got a little bit of a story to tell. I'll do another video because I'm going to light up something. I think I'm going to light up some of this uh, uh, limerick from uh, the Major Pipe. The Major Pipe? Is it the Major Pipe or Piper? I gotta go look that up again. I'm still trying to connect everybody's YouTube name, their real name, and I don't, I don't have it all down. And I don't know that it matters. And some people, you know, I say I can't remember. Is it Oki or is it Dale or you know what? I've been called much worse, so it doesn't matter. I don't. My channel name is Oki Cigar and Pipe Smoker. Some people say Oki Pipe and Sky. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. It makes no difference what you call me. I just wanted a set. I had a channel with just my name on there. But I wanted, I started doing these and I thought, you know, maybe I need to separate these channels. I don't know. So that's why I came up with it, Oklahoma. And I started smoking cigars. And I didn't, I didn't, hadn't even smoked a pipe yet. Didn't have a pipe. And so that's why pipe came last instead of the other way around. So anyway, thank you so much, Danny. I, I can't tell you. There are not words enough to say how much I appreciate what you guys have done. And uh, that's all I can say is I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for the tampers. Thank you for the way too many samples that you sent out. Again, I appreciate it. Thank you. And I will catch you next time.